Hi, everybody. We are back for another day of the main line. And I'm really, really excited about today because I'm going to get to introduce you to one of our newest supervisors at Marion, Maine. Ayana has been awesome and she's so full of knowledge. So I want to bring her up on stage with me and I want to talk a little bit about her background um, as well as some of her favorite products. And, you know, I want to answer any questions you guys might have. Hi, Ayana. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. I'm doing good. How's the store today? Great. Um, today we actually have a nice sale on Shake. Mm. So that's been going really well. Yeah, our five gram magnums have uh, been on sale for $28 all day today. Oh, super dope. So like anyone that likes to make edibles at home, yeah. um, if you like to mix it in kind of with your other flour to make it stretch a little while, mm. Shake is perfect for that. So mm. like, yeah. Totally, totally. Have you been seeing um, a lot of patients who uh, utilize it for those purposes? Yes, definitely. Especially using it as a filler, like when they have really good stuff that they like and they're running out, but they still want to yeah. see it not really just completely decimate it, then they'll put shake in whatever they're packing or rolling just to make it thicker. Yeah, definitely. So it's a really good additional. So oh, cool. Good little stuffer. Um, so how are you today? How are you, uh, feeling now at, that you're like really getting settled in at the store and in your position, you've been with us for, I don't even know if it's been a full 90 days yet. It has. I hit my okay, just days. Right. I was about to say just, Christmas. Mm -hmm. yep. so it just happened not too long ago and it flew by. Um, yeah. it's been so great working here. I love it. Honestly. Um, the transition was smooth and easy. Before this, I worked mm -hmm. at a different dispensary. Um, mm -hmm. So I learned a lot of stuff there. I'm still learning a lot of stuff here. I, yeah. I love it. yeah, I love being around people and I love working with natural health care. Yeah, yeah. You know, this industry is new and emerging. Before you were interested in cannabis, what were you doing uh, in your, your past life? Uh, and you know, why, what's the, where did the interest in, in natural and alternative health come from? Um, uh, before this, I was actually in graduate school to be a clinical mental health counselor. Okay. Yeah. So I've always loved helping people with their issues and things like that. Mm -hmm. During my studies, I learned how much mental health care in America is based on a medical model. Yes. which has a lot of pharmaceuticals written into that model. And that mm -hmm. personally, just for me, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. While I understand mm -hmm. there are people who have chemical imbalances and things misfiring who might need to be on medication, I personally feel like there are a lot of people who are put on it that don't need to be on it or kept on it right. way too long. So yes. I, this passion grew inside of me to teach people about more natural things that come from the earth that can help us all with the problems that we face every day. Cue yeah. cannabis. Right. I'm like, that just ties right into it. And I mean, learning, we're learning so much about the plant right now. And I mean, there's going to be a lot of research that's going to come out over the next probably like 20 to 30 years yeah. about the plant. That's going to be amazing. But we know that we have an endocannabinoid system mm -hmm. that actually regulates cannabis. And a lot of these cannabinoids we naturally produce in our body already. Yeah. And I think that's so interesting. Me too. You know, people don't know about it at all. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the same with CBD, you know. We have yeah. a system in our body that is a part of the endocannabinoid system. And if you're not putting CBD in your body regularly, just like any other thing, you'll have a sort of deficiency, like an iron deficiency or vitamin mm -hmm. D deficiency, things like that. And then your body mm -hmm. can function to the best of its abilities. Right. So a lot of people say things like, oh, when, when they take CBD, oh, I, I don't feel anything. I mean, it's like when you take a vitamin, do you automatically feel like you have superpowers? Like that's not, this is not the same purpose. You have to kind of understand the, the purpose of, of use. So when you're using for recreational use versus medicinal use. Um, also, like you said, how CBD is something you have to build up over time in your system. And you have to, uh, it's something that you have to constantly take every day. Mm -hmm. I use the example, I, I take CBD like it's a vitamin. Yeah. Um, you know, every day, every morning, yeah, I take uh, some CBD drops. And, you know, I just think that it's interesting um, why that's a hard concept for a lot of people. 
they just, like I said, they're always chasing like a, a high or either a high or a relaxing feeling. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, I took some CBD and I just didn't feel it. Yeah. But like, where do you, from what you know about cannabis, um, and I can let you like kind of explain a little bit about all that if you'd like, but um, from what you know about cannabis, why is CBD, uh, what is what is it about the medicinal properties that help you uh, over time potentially uh, keep from getting sick or, you know, keep from having uh, imbalances in anxiety and things like that. Why is it that CBD affects those things? Because of that cannabinoid system that we were talking about earlier. And mm -hmm. that cannabinoid system is attached to every part of our bodies. If you were to look at a chart, it would run from our head to our toes. So mm -hmm. the moment that you have a, let's call it a CBD deficiency, that system stops things from working properly. The whole purpose of your endocannabinoid system is to help the other systems in your body function to the best of their abilities. So mm -hmm. when that is not to the best of its ability, none of the other systems in your body are either. And I'm so like happy- Your nervous system and yeah, so, okay. So just so everyone understands how important this is, like literally every other function of your body can be affected by cannabis. Yeah. somehow shape it positive or negatively because there is i tell people too there's like a point of diminishing returns like you're going to get here and this is your optimum level mm -hmm. and once you go past that you're getting a, a negative uh effect and i think that's where the lazy uh stoner stereotype has come from because these are people that have kind of abused a plant past what would would have put them in homeostasis yes definitely and that also ties into like terpenes and stuff too. Um, terpenes are found in all plants, especially cannabis. With mm -hmm. the purpose of terpenes, three purposes, to tell your flower how it's gonna smell, how it's gonna taste, and the medicinal benefit. Each terpene mm -hmm. has a medicinal purpose. And I definitely want people to learn those. And I will spit them out when they're in front of me, talking to me about, oh, I want something that's really gonna relax me. And I tell them, oh, you probably want mercy. Mercy mm -hmm. medicinal purpose is to, it's a muscle relaxant and it's a sedative. It's kind of what makes indicas indicas. Right. Right. So it's not all about the THC. Quick little lesson real quick. I tell mm -hmm. people all the time. THC is like the engine and the terpenes are like the tires and the steering wheel. What's right. having a big souped up engine if you don't have any tires? You're not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Yeah. Right. That's why sometimes you can get a strain, like a really good strain that's like 15 to 18% THC, but it might put you on your head compared to the 28, 30% THC. Yes, exactly. It's not yeah. about the THC at all. It, it is not. When people come in, they go, give me the highest you got. I'm like, oh no, what are you trying to do? <laughs> like, talk to me more, tell me more. Right. I still give them what they want, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always gonna get what you want, but we're still gonna educate you, and maybe over time, you know, you'll find something that works better. I know for me, um, I've just found certain strains that really work well for like specific reasons. Like if I'm trying to, you know, energize myself, if I'm about to go work out, there's a different type of strain that I would use versus you know, right, if I'm really trying to relax or if my anxiety is going through the roof, or you know, if I'm feeling really, really um, even just like nervous about something. Like I've, I've learned there are different strains that work for different purposes. And then also the method of use mm -hmm. could be the issue because I think people get so stuck on highest THC flower that they, they forget. First off, there's so many other methods that you can use cannabis that might be more effective for the result you're trying to, uh, to achieve. Definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So speaking of all these different products and methods of use, um, you know, one thing that you have been praised for in the store is really being thorough in your explanation of these products, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, how to use them and how you use them and your effects. So I would love for you to share a few of your favorite products in the store. Okay, yay, good stuff. So. The first product that I'm gonna talk about is a shatter. This is a concentrate that I dab with. It is from Verano. It is called G6. Now, G6 we have right now in shatter form. 
Um, shatter is a type of concentrate that you dab with. It is a concentrated form of cannabis, as you can see. Look how pretty that is. I'll actually bust it open and try to show you guys. Look at how gorgeous that color is. The clearer, the more, the better. Just, it's gonna taste good. G6, the strain, is known as the espresso of cannabis, and that is very true. This is like a cup of coffee in the morning time, and dabs, taking dabs hits instantly, like on the exhale. It's like a very intense vape cartridge, but in a rig. And soon we will have e-rigs, and we'll have another video where I'll show you guys how to use those. So if you don't have a rig, but you want to partake in concentrates, because the THC in concentrates like shatters, waxes, is through the roof. Most of the time for flour, the most amount of THC that you're going to find in a bud is 30%. Anything higher than that is great, but abnormal. So if you want to partake in concentrates, but you don't have or want to use a rig, don't worry. We have what is called a caviar. I took it out of this box right here. As you can see, I bought the Indica one. And this is a joint. I'll open it up and show you. It's 1.5 grams in here. 1.5 grams of flour, keef, and shatter. It also comes with a nice glass tip, which I think is great for Corona times, you know. And you just slide it in like this, boom, and you light it. So like I said, this gram and a half joint has flour, keef, and shatter in it, which is why the THC is at 37.8%. This burns very slowly. So especially for newcomers, new people, just if you've never tried a caviar or any type of concentrate, I tell everybody, do not feel obligated to smoke this all in one sitting. You can definitely put it back, put it out, and come back to it when you want some more. So essentially, this one joint could last you like two or three sessions. Who doesn't love that? I personally have sleep issues. I have ADHD, so turning my brain off at night is like uh, an Olympic sport. It's just super hard to do. So these next few products that I'm going to talk about are products that I personally use to help put me to sleep. We'll start with the Wana Chews. Wana is the only company in Maryland right now that makes specific edibles. They make sativa edibles, hybrid, indica, and CBD edibles. Everybody else, you eat it. What happens to you is just what happens to you. Um, so because of that, I love these. The indica and the sativa come in two different milligrams. You can have 10 milligrams a piece, or you can have 30 milligrams a piece. That's what this is. I've been smoking for a while. I've been medicating for a while. So I do have a little bit of a tolerance. So I take the 30 milligram indica chews for nighttime. Look at how cute this is. It's pink. It's cut because it's raspberry limeade flavored. Um, it's covered in sh sour sugar. I don't even know how you would say that. It's sour stuff, but it's sweet at the same time. This is honestly one of the best um, edibles. It's vegan. That's what I was looking for just to make sure I didn't say anything that wasn't true. It is a vegan product for all my vegans out there. This is definitely something for you. Sour chew, raspberry limeade, indica, 30 milligrams. Because there's 10 in here, you get 300 milligrams of THC in this whole box. Now we're going to move on to the capsules. These are good night capsules made by Curio. You get 14 in here. I have heard that they might be making a bigger bottle for like a 30 day supply, which is great. Um, the cool thing about these are it has 10 milligrams of THC per pill and then five milligrams of CBN. 
And this is a time-released capsule. So what happens is you take it, within an hour, you'll get sleepy, you go to sleep. Three hours after that, the CBN is released. CBN is a cannabinoid whose medicinal purpose is to keep you asleep. So the THC puts you asleep, and then three hours later, the CBN keeps you asleep. That's definitely a perk, because for me, um, even if I can go to sleep beautifully, that's a blessing. I have this thing where I wake up at like three o'clock in the morning, like it's time for me to start my day. No alarm, no sun, no sound. I'm just like, bing, what? That's terrible. Doesn't happen with these. Um, when I first started taking them, I was taking just one after a while that didn't really work to the best of my ability that I liked. So I started taking two, which I want to let you know is a-okay. Sometimes you will build a tolerance to some of our products, and that's just normal. It doesn't hurt to take more than one, you know? That's just, if I was to do the math, 20 milligrams of THC and 10 milligrams of CBN. That's nothing. But it's so powerful. <laughs> it helps so much. This last product that I'm going to talk to you about, um, they're called Disco's. Now, Disco's are made by Evermore. This flavor is raspberry, and it's coming in, this batch is 37 milligrams of THC. Now, here's the kicker. If you look in the ingredients list, it will say F-E-C-O, which stands for Full Extract Cannabis Oil, FECO for short. So Full Extract Cannabis Oil is the full power of the plant. It comes from RSO, which is also known as Rick Simpson oil. Now, Rick Simpson oil is named after Rick Simpson because he found out that it cured his skin cancer. He took the oil, it's thick, it's black, like tar almost, and he would apply it like a topical directly onto his skin cancer. And then his skin cancer went away. So with RSO and FICO, you're getting the full power of the plant. Everything that the plant has to offer, not just THC, CBD, it's THC, CBD, CBN, CBG, THCV, THCA, the list goes on, okay? Super powerful stuff. I tell people, because RSO and FICO are really good for things like pain. If somebody has something like fibromyalgia and all over body pain that I can't tell you, put a cream on, you know, it's something that you can't really put a cream on, then boom, this is the edible for you. There we go. I'm trying to find the camera. <laughs> there we go. So um, you get 10 in here. And what you do with these, because they're lozenges, is you roll them around. I'll show you. Oh cute little red lozenger. It has a little THC thing on it. So, you know, this is not regular candy, you know. Um, you roll these around in your mouth until it dissolves completely. That's going to make the full extract cannabis oil bleed into your gum line. And then from there, boom, it's straight into the bloodstream. And it doesn't take as long as other edibles to hit you because you don't need your stomach to digest it and send the THC everywhere. It, like I said, straight to the gum line, straight to the bloodline. So these for me are sedating. For two of my coworkers, these discos give them a great boost of energy, which goes to show you that the same cannabis product can affect people in different ways. So Mostly, if you have pain, this is something that I would um, suggest for you. If you have pain and sleep issues, go ahead and try this also, because that's what I use it for, to take pain away and then to cradle me off to sleep. That's awesome. That was amazing. Thanks, Ayana. So that is totally obvious why people love coming to you, asking questions about what products work well for them. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So everybody, if you have questions when you go into Mary and Maine, don't be afraid to really talk to our experience agents. Look and ask for Ayana. I mean, if you have a specific question about any product that she talked about today, ask her because this is that's what we're here for. Yeah. That's a part of our job too. We're not just 
salespeople trying to get you to buy things. We're really here um, to help people alleviate their ailments and find what works for them. And I think that's been something exciting for me um, also as a cannabis patient, realizing like, wow, like, you know, I used to get really bad migraines. And like, if I just, you know, for me, taking CBD every day has been like a big you know, game changer for me. But I didn't know um, until I really understood cannabis. Now I understand instead of uh, certain pain medication, uh, other things that I can use in, in place of that. When I get headaches, instead of ibuprofen, things that you could use in place of that. So there's so much, but like you said, it's different for every person. So there is like a period of trial and error, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you How do you kind of like coach people through their, when they're just starting their cannabis journey, they're not sure exactly, um, you know, what products they should start with or anything like that, but they know, okay, I feel like something typical is most people have some sort of chronic pain. Yes. You know, um, they say every like one in three Americans or two in three Americans has chronic pain of some sort. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is like used to, you know, popping an Advil every other day because their back hurts, mm -hmm. what would you suggest them to start at to on their journey? Um, a CBD vape. Um, uh, vapes are just instant. As soon as you inhale, the me medicine starts to work in your system. Mm -hmm. Edibles and tinctures last for hours, which is amazing. Only mm -hmm. the downside is you have to wait about an hour to make two hours, depending on how fast or slow your metabolism is, for it to kick in. So if somebody right. has things like spasms, just fast pain that they can't tell when it's going to come on, it's just boom, it's here, I'd say mm -hmm. that vape. That vape's definitely going to help. We also have creams that yes. you... If like a joint issue or something like that, you can rub it on. Um, mm -hmm. Fun fact, you can take a CBD tincture and put it in coconut oil and make your own topical if you wanted to do that. Because the coconut oil will take the CBD down into your body. I That is interesting because I've had people tell me to put CBD oil on like, um, uh, like um, pimples and things like that. But I guess it needs... Yeah, you know, because it's inflammation. Mm -hmm. So that totally makes sense. Um, we have a question that came in. Um, Eric Stamper, hello, Eric, a great friend of, of the industry and of mine. Um, he runs Veterans uh, 22 Initiative. So everyone definitely go check him out. Um, but yeah, any data on suppositories in Maryland medicine? Um, I haven't heard anybody talking about it in Maryland just yet, but I wouldn't be surprised. Um, there are a few companies that are really medicinal based in Maryland. I wouldn't be surprised if they're coming soon, Eric. And I know that there are some other states, um, the company Foria. Have you ever heard of Foria, Ayana? I, I think so. Yeah, it's a national brand. Um, I know that they're like kind of leading that charge, especially on the CBD uh, route. And I think out in California, they have a THC line too. But um, I, a good friend of mine, Antoinette Gomez, she runs a company called Pleasure Peaks in um, Canada that uh, they make suppositories and other female health products that are infused with cannabis. Um, she has, uh, she's a spokesperson for endometriosis. And I know a lot of women have found um, a lot of relief by right. using uh, CBD and THC infused uh, suppositories. And I think that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely. So if anyone else has any questions, drop them in the, uh, the comment box right now. We're gonna stay on for a few more minutes and answer any more questions that anyone else has. Um, neuropathy. Uh, so what would be, if someone came in and they're having um, issues with their nervous system, what would you talk to them about? Um, I would definitely talk to them about RSO, FICO, mm -hmm. these discos. Neuropathy is something again, I'm probably not going to say take this topical and rub it on what? All your nerves? No. <laughs> <laughs> you would need to ingest something that's literally going to work from the inside out. Um, mm -hmm. Also, CBD flour, which we have mixed with THC, um, that would be very nice too, but mostly for neuropathy, I'd probably say edibles and CBD vapes. So when that sharp pain just hits you and you don't have time to wait for an edible, hit that vape. 
And then it's mm-hmm. instantly going to start to course throughout your body. Totally. Awesome. Awesome. Um, but yeah, Eric, prostate health and endometriosis, all of that is something that, you know, um, earlier we were saying that I believe that cannabis will have, we have like years left of research mm-hmm. but, and it's not, I mean, we have yet, I feel like to really unlock all the powers right. of, of the plant. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of see some of this, uh, like real research based research come out on health, uh, female and male reproductive systems, because we know that the endocannabinoid system connects with every system within our body. So that also means our reproductive system. Exactly. Definitely. Awesome, awesome. Well, Ayana, do you want to leave the audience with any tidbit? You gave us so much today. So thank you for yeah. pouring into everybody. But do you want to leave us with anything? Um, Just come in and see me, definitely. Yeah. I'll literally be here tomorrow. So, and for, I'll be here tomorrow and Friday. So definitely come in, say hi, say you saw me, ask me any questions that you want and just know that you're in good hands when you come to Mary and May. Definitely. So anybody uh, who's interested in learning more about Mary and Maine or how to become a patient, anything like that, head over to our website right now. It's right below maryandmaine.com. Super easy. Um, and come into the shop. You can ask questions in person, even if you're not a patient, um, but definitely sign up, get your medical card. Uh, we want to help you alleviate your ailments and, and get back to a, a happy, uh, happy, easy life. And cannabis can be a part of that process. So yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks, Ayana. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out today and we'll be right back here on the main line next week uh, at 6 p.m. All right.